Risk assets are looking heavy as the week gets set to close out. The primary catalyst comes from this week's Fed decision, which leaned more hawkish on the revelation the central bank expects the terminal rate to rise above 5%. Adding insult to injury was an ECB decision that also opted to lean more hawkish, despite signs of recession in the local economy. All of this points to less investor-friendly policy into 2023, which means we could see more downside pressure in stock markets and more upside in the U.S. dollar. The pound took its own hit on Thursday, this from the Bank of England decision, which produced two dissents in favor of leaving rates as they were. And not helping the overall sentiment out there was an already discouraging retail sales print out of China and some soft data out of the U.S. Key standouts on Friday's calendar come from U.K. retail sales, German, Eurozone and U.K. PMI reads, Eurozone trade, Eurozone inflation, Canada housing and wholesale sales, and U.S. PMIs. That's all for now.